Hi folks, nice to have you here. Today we have a special event with Matteo Bianca. Yes, he released two releases on my audio net label Fidelic. The first one was about Marx and the second one is Tata Gate. And we have him here in my studio. He is sitting in Scotland, I'm here in Kiel. And we have a super special event about Buddhism and anything else, like a little bit of meditation. So, I give the word further to Matteo Bianca, yes. Okay, hi everybody and thank you for joining us in this streaming. And thank you for Andre, thank you to Speredelic to give me this opportunity. So, it's a, it's a strange product, it's, it's not a, just the music, it's a bit of poem, a bit of painting, and we try to do like a meditation uh, using all these media. So first of all, to, to watch this painting. This painting is an elephant, and on the top there is a, a man, and uh, it represents one of the 12 Nidana, the 12 uh, links in Buddhism. This one is called the attachment. And what can be more attached than a man on an elephant? So our attachment is like an elephant. No, it's very big, very heavy to move. So I will ask you to try to do like a very small meditation, very few minutes, just staring this painting and try to observe every particular, every details in this painting. I will guide you through this little meditation. So we will start with the trunk. So the nose of the elephant, let's just look that. We do like a basically body scan, but with the elephant. So we just look this elephant, so the trunk, then we're going up, we just look his face, and we can start to think about how his face is as hard to touch, he is soft, the elephant like or not if you touch it. So just try to elaborate every particular with that. And then we can move on and we just go to the eyes. Are his eyes happy, sad, neutral? What is your feeling when you look these eyes? Are you feel happy? Are you feel sad? Are you feel neutral, neither pleasant or unpleasant? And then we can move on on the top of his head where we have the big ear. And we can ask ourselves again, how this big, hard, soft, the elephant like to be pet, like to be touched or not? And why, why his ear are so big? What, what does it need to do? You need to hear something very important or they are so big that they can't hear anything because they are so big even bigger than a sound ask yourself all those questions or maybe even new question your personal question you have about this ear why our ears are so small and the elephants are so big don't we need to hear anything and then we can move on on his body on his body is massive, it's so big, and uh, we don't know even like how to focus, right? Because when you start to look the painting, you see the body is too big, there is no particular, it's a bit fading, there is a bit of yellow, a bit of gray. So just everybody's different. Choose one spot that you like and try to focus either on the yellow part or in the gray Try to focus without blinking your eyes for a minute. And I will be silent for one minute. And let's say what is arise, which feeling come for you.
Now take a piece of paper or your phone or your computer and write down immediately whatever you feel about that. Just write what it gives you that yellow part, the gray part. Whatever word, can be a sentence, can be one word, can be silly, can be clever, we don't care. Just write what you feel. Then we start to going down on his legs. Or probably they're called pole for animals. So and uh, so we start with the legs on the on the back. And we can see like if you look very well, these two legs are not exactly the same. And then it show you like the asymmetrical body, like each of us, our right part is not the same like the left. If you look exactly in the mirror, if you really look deeply in the mirror, we can see ourselves that we are not exactly the same left and right. And here you can see also on the, the back of the elephant. You can see these enormous legs with a very, very small tail. So, and to me, for example, give me like a feeling of unbalance. And talking about attachment in Buddhism, in Buddhism is like, you know, unbalanced, no? Sometimes we want something more, we want something less, like these legs. We have big legs, small tail. Then let's go to see the bigger, the front legs. And you see that one of these legs is ready to go somewhere. So where is going? Let's ask ourselves, where is going this elephant? is going somewhere or is coming back home? And write down, please, your answer. Is going or is coming back? So some of you that will think it's going, some of you is coming back, or maybe some of you think it doesn't even move. It just stopped there. And then let's come back on the top. There is that man. What does he do, this man? Why there is a man on the top? Why? Why is like not sitting but is laying? Is really attached to this elephant? So the first question ask yourself is: Is a man or is a woman? And you can keep write down all these answers. We will use later on the second part. So is a man or is a woman? And why is not clear in the picture? It's completely dark, it's completely black, so it's not clear at all. And then we ask again, why is lay down? Why is not sitting? And what's the purpose? Why, why they are together? Why the elephant is together with the man or vice versa? Is the elephant that trapped the elephant or the elephant that is trapping the man? And if you like, you can write all your possible answers with all this kind of um, meditation game. And now, as a last thing, just look at the entire picture. It's yellow, and the elephant and the man, they are fading. You see, they are not clear in the picture. So why is that? Why is fading? Why is not clear? And also, why is yellow? Why is not red, for example? Now I'll give you one more minute in silence to think about all your answer to all the questions that I ask you. Okay, now keep it all your answer that you write on the paper, computer, phone, and we start with the second part, the more musical part.
Inspired by the music, try to write down one word, only one word that is inspired by this music. Again, it could be everything. So just the first word come up in your mind. And then we have the final part of this uh, session, this streaming. So it's the poem. And uh, I will read for you and probably you will see on the screen the poem and then I will tell you what we are doing with that. Let's read. You are going to die and you don't even know it. You only think about surviving. You know, I would love to give you a more romantic explanation. So that's why there is rain, good novels and plenty of waves. Life force, mind or discernment, whatever you call that. It's understanding knowledge, a key for your past, a door for your present. It may be sour, maybe bitter, or really sweet and salty together. A perception of white, blue, yellow, and red. The footprint of slime dissolves, the diaphanous figure is absorbed by the light mist blossoming. I have tears, but it's not your problem. If I bring you my sorrow, I don't need to feel so sad or happy. I only need acceptance. 
My time is gone till another time appears. I crumpled on myself. We live without justice. Let the will of chance be done. My breath is ethereal. My life is material. My body does not mind. Flying through times causes knowledge and disappears. I remind you, I told you, don't worry. I remind you, I told you, we can be somewhere else. I remind you, I told you, I don't feel like it. I remind you, I told you, better alive than dead. I remind you, I told you, there is nothing over there. I remind you, and I told you, there is me, there is no self. I remind you, I told you, to look for sparkling lights. And I remind you, I told you, always say goodbye. So now it's your turn. So it's, my turn is done. Now people, they are falling for the streaming. You have all this answer from the question from the painting. You have your one word on the music. You have the poem here. Try to make your own poem. Using the questions, using that word, try to destroy my poem. Destroy the poem. Make your sentence. Put inside the word that you think about it. Do whatever you want with this poem. So you can, you can rewrite it. You can sing, you can uh, play, you can do whatever you want. And then if you like, just uh, drop uh, on the chat your version, your poem version. So thank you very much to, to follow us for this like very short um, streaming and event about like meditation with arts and music. Very special things, Matteo. Absolutely amazing thing about this concert. I wish you all the best and for the people who want to write it, write it directly under this description or leave a comment or write it directly to Matteo and you find the address in the description. And I say bye and we see us next time again, maybe with the next happening. All right, bye bye.